This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morrison. and today I'm checking out CryptCat. So what exactly is CryptCat other than really adorable? It is another command line tool that is built on top of Netcat and it works almost exactly the same way. We have discussed the fact that Netcat usage is basically transmitted in plain text, meaning that there is no encryption and anyone can see what you are doing across computers. Yay, fun! So don't send passwords via Netcat. So CryptCat gives you a version of Netcat using two fish encryption. I was able to download it on my Linux Mint machine by simply typing into the terminal sudo apt-get install cryptcat, yay! So now you can type in cryptcat tac h just like you would do with netcat nc tac h and you can see all the different commands that you can use with this, all the different options. Basically, it all uses the same commands. So here's an example for you that me and Darren put together earlier. So on my computer, I'm going to type this in. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Cryptcat, tac, k, and then my password. Hey Darren, we're gonna make our password bunnies, okay? Okay. All right, don't tell the internet. I won't, I won't. don't you tell the internet. I won't tell the internet. It's bunnies. And then we're gonna type in Darren's IP address, 10.73.31.124. And then 1337, and that is, of course, the port. So first off, CryptCat opens CryptCat. TAC K does enable the password for, or the symmetric key, which means that both of us are going to need to know that key for this to actually work. And then the next word is my password, which in this case, Darren, it's bunnies. Don't tell the internet. And then the IP address of the other computer, which is Darren's computer. The last bit, of course, is my port. So on Darren's computer, Darren, this is what you're gonna type in. You're going to type in CryptCat TAC K space bunnies. Don't tell the internet. Space TAC L space TAC P space 1337. Got it? Great. All right. Good. Now CryptCat again opens CryptCat. TAC K does enable the password again. And then again, Darren puts our share, puts in our shared password. The, well, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. And then TAC L TAC P 1337 means we're listening on port 1337. So now we can chat, supposedly. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna send him a message. I'm just gonna say, Yo, what up, G? And then he can send me a message back, whatever he chooses it might be. And I should receive it down at the bottom of my terminal. Here, my password is Kit and Sparkle Rainbow Pants. That's the cutest password ever. Cool, so it seems like it works, but how do you know that it's encrypted? Well, after the break, I will show you a quick way to determine if CryptCat really is encrypting all of those messages and Darren's passwords. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive, but it quacks like a duck or a keyboard. It can type scripts into a computer ridiculously fast, like this week's pick from Loud G in the forums. It'll change the desktop wallpaper on your buddy's Mac to basically anything you want. So haha, finally I have something that I can prank Paul with. Yes, perfect, I love it. And of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we'd like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own Hack Tip sticker. Thanks again for supporting the show. And now we're back with the fun part. So CryptChat says that it is encrypted, CryptCat. I'm going to open Wireshark with GK sudo Wireshark ampersand to make sure. So I'm going to choose ETH0 since I'm using ethernet here for my LAN and then type in, and this it looks pretty easy. So this is Wireshark. So up at the top, I'm going to type in TCP period port space equal equal space 1337. And then when I hit apply, I start getting all sorts of packets. And of course, if you haven't used Wireshark before, feel free to check out my earlier hack tip on Wireshark 101 from like two years ago. It's really good and very informative. So I have a whole bunch of packets going on down here. You'll notice a bunch of packets getting transmitted between Darren and me, but all of them are supposedly encrypted. So I can see myself right here, it's 10.73.31.124. 
10.31.107 and Darren 10.73.31.124. Now down here is the actual packet. So if this was clear text, I could see exactly what he was typing out to me. So let's check our terminal and see what he is writing. Are they encrypted? Packets! All right, cool. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, so let's, let's see if any of those show up. We see that a whole bunch just came through. So if I click down, each and every one of these is still encrypted. I can't see exactly what he's typing out to me. Huh, okay, so it seems to be encrypted. Now, let's try doing the same thing with Netcat. So in this, per chance, I'll be the listener this time, and I will open this up with a very sim simple terminal command. This time it's going to be nc tac l tac p 1337. So that means I'm opening Netcat, listening on port 1337. On Darren's machine, he's going to type in nc space my IP address 10.73.31.107 space 1337, so the same port. So we both hit enter at the same time. And let's go ahead and start chatting a little bit. So he'll send me some chats, I'll send him some. Hey Darren. Yo, what up, G? This is my password, Sparklefish. Uh-oh, okay, I won't tell anyone, all right? Cool. So now we have a whole bunch of new packets to go through. And look at that, we can already see them. So this time, using Netcat, we're able to see exactly what the packets are bringing in. You'll notice that all these chats are not encrypted. You can see everything that he's saying. Hey, Darren. Yo, what up, G? My password is kitten sparkle rainbow pants. Don't tell anyone. My password is sparkle face. Shh, it's a secret. Plain text sucks. I agree. <laughs> this is so cool. I was really interested to find CryptChat and check it out a little bit. It's very, very easy to program to use once you know how to use Netcat. So I want to know, do you use CryptCat? Send me a comment below or you can email us at tips at hack5.org and make sure that I'm not saying crypt chat the entire episode. So be sure to check out our sister show as well, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. And I will be there reminding you to trust your technolist. Meow. Creepy key.